Hello everyone, this is Oshini from Chinta.com. Today, we have a simultaneous equation in complex numbers. This is very interesting. This problem came up in the ISI BMAT entrance. If you don't know what is ISI entrance, or if you are looking for resources to prepare for it, check the link in the description. So, Simultaneous equation means there are two equations in a complex variable and we want to find out all complex numbers that satisfy these two equations. So what are the two equations? The first one is omega. Omega is the variable in complex numbers. The absolute value of omega is 1. That's the first. The second one, the second condition is imaginary part of omega to the power 4 is equal to 0. You raise omega to the power 4 and take only the imaginary part of it. You will get 0. The question is, how many complex numbers are there that satisfies both of these conditions? So, as usual, at the end of this video, I'll give you a challenge problem and if you can do it then you'll get free access to the self-paced course for ISI CMI entrances. For everyone who is interested in ISI CMI entrances, I encourage you to check the live classroom program as well as the self-paced program. Both the links are given in the description. Okay. All right. So what is this? This is saying, the first condition is saying, that the absolute value of the complex number is 1. I will encourage you to think about this geometrically. It's always easier to do it in the case of complex numbers. Think using geometry. So every complex number is nothing but a point in the xy plane. Sometimes it's also called the argand plane. It's the same thing, one and the same thing. Okay, so if you want to understand geometrically what is absolute value of a complex number, it's very simple. It's the distance of the complex number omega from the origin. So this is the, this length is the absolute value of omega okay and you can easily see why that is the case if omega is x plus i y absolute value of omega is square root of x squared plus y squared so you can think of x plus i y as just a point x comma y that's it the letter i and we discussed this at length in our complex numbers module for Math Olympiad program and ISI CMI entrance program. The letter I, you should just think of it as an indication of y-axis. And multiplication of complex numbers is simply rotation and dilation. So I, I refer you to other videos on complex numbers that we have in this YouTube channel to gain a better fundamental understanding on that. Okay, so absolute value of omega equals to 1 means that omega actually constitutes of all those points which are exactly one unit away from the origin. So what are those points? What is the collection of all points which are exactly one unit away from the origin? Well, you're right. Those are only the points on a circle, a unit circle about the origin. So the first equation, absolute value of omega equals to 1, has infinitely many solutions. And those are all points on this unit circle. They all satisfy this one condition, that is absolute value of the complex number is equal to 1. Okay. The second question is, imaginary part of omega to the power 4 equal to 0. So, what is omega to the power 4? So, you have to again understand this geometrically. If 
or you can let's think about it in polar coordinates okay so if you take a complex number let's say omega of course you can write it as x comma y or you could do it as like this r comma theta this is r and this is theta the angle that it makes with the positive direction of the x-axis so what is omega square omega square is simply r square comma 2 theta that means this is a very well known fact about complex multiplication and you should definitely watch the foundation video on this or attend the class if you are a student of chanda on complex numbers but if you have two complex numbers and if i write them in polar coordinates you do complex multiplication then the lengths get multiplied and the angles get added sometimes this is also known as the de moivre's theorem okay okay so here what we just did is we multiplied r comma theta with r comma theta so the lengths got multiplied and the angles got added so you get 2 theta so similarly omega to the power 4 is r to the power 4 comma 4 theta right okay so in this case r that is the absolute value of omega is just 1 right because of the first condition so omega to the power 4 is simply 1 comma 4 theta so what you want is you want 4 theta that is the angle that omega to the power 4 makes so omega to the power 4 is just another complex number another point on the plane so you join that point with the origin and you look at the angle that it makes with the x-axis is it that that angle is 4 theta and you want that angle to be either 0 so you want imaginary part of omega to the power 4 to be 0 so you don't want any y component of omega to the power 4 so what you want is you want omega to the power 4 to be either here or you want omega to the power 4 to be here these are the two positions in these two positions the imaginary part the y component is zero right so let's do some calculations we know that theta is between 0 and 360 degree 360 there is no equality sign so 0 to 360 this angle that omega makes with x-axis it's from 0 to 360 right 0 inclusive 360 non-inclusive so 4 theta is between 0 and 4 times 360 which is 1440 right now you want all the multiples of 180 degree between 0 and 1440 not inclusive 1440 because for whenever 4 theta is equal to some multiple of 180 degree some multiple of 180 degree whenever 4 theta is equal to some multiple of 180 degree it is on the the point is on the x-axis it's either on the positive end of the x-axis or on the negative end of the x-axis in both situations imaginary part is zero which is great right so what are the possible multiples of 180 degree between 0 to 1440 well 0 is one of them 180 degree is one of them uh, 360 degree is the next one because 2 times uh, 180 540 degree is the next one then you have um, 720 degree as the next one then you have 900 degree as the next one then you have 1080 as the next one 
and then you have 1260 as the next one. So these are all. You won't include 1440 because it is strictly less than, right? So 4 theta, whenever it is equal to these values, you have a solution. You have a solution. So I want you to figure out if this is 4 theta, the challenge question is this. If this is 4 theta, what are the corresponding values of theta for which you have a, uh, you have a solution? And the second part of the challenge problem is, if, if I change the question a little bit, instead of the omega to the power 4, having the imaginary part equals to 1. If I have real part of omega to the power 6 equal to 0, that is, instead of this condition, I'm just slightly changing the condition. So, real part of omega to the power 6 equal to 0. Look at this simultaneous equation. How many solutions are there? So if you can think about it, and you can, if you can think about it geometrically, then you can easily find the solution, okay? So geometry and complex numbers go hand in hand. They are really beautiful. I hope you will learn some more exciting mathematics on the way while you explore this topic. Thank you for joining in today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.